Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. Hey, I saw an unicorn and it's so colorful that it's making me feel like painting one. So come on, let's paint a unicorn with me. And we're going to use all our colors. I have here my primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, and then black and white, my paper, or canvas, a piece of paper, a cup with water, then my two uh, brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, a pencil, and I'm also going to use two cups, a smaller cup and a bigger one. Make sure they're two different sizes, okay? All right, let's get started, and we're going to start drawing it. Get the small cup and place it in your bottom left, not all the way down, a little bit above, like about four fingers high or something. And then I want you to place the bigger cup on top like this. You see, the bigger cup is almost in the middle of the paper, almost, maybe a little bit above. Um, now we're going to trace the, paper, the, the cups. Just outline them, go around, trace them, trace the, the small one, and then you're going to trace the bigger one. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is more of a reference. For us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect those two, that little gap in between them, connect them like that because they were separate. Make sure you didn't put them next to each other. They're separate. Okay, now I'm going to erase all these lines in the middle. And then you can see the outside shape. It's a little different now. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to start kind of like over here, like towards the bottom at that big circle. You're going to curve it in and then curve it out. Almost like you make you're making just like a curve in and then out now here you're just going to go all the way down and bring it out go down just keep going down on the circle and then bring it down and then go off the paper Got it? Now let's kind of erase this top one here too of the circle and we're gonna leave a little gap. So what's happening here is that our, the shape of our unicorn, of the head of the unicorn, starting to form. Just gonna leave a little bit of a dent here. I think this is a little too big, I'm just going to you can now have the freedom to kind of try to imagine what your unicorn looks like. And yeah, and then you can create your shape. But do you see, I kind of see a, uh, the shape of a horse's head, right? Like a unicorn. Okay, so now what I'll do is right over here where you see the the top here on the left side, but it's on top of the, the big circle. We're going to make the unicorn horn. We're gonna go at an angle and make a triangle. Make a triangle, but at an angle. It's not gonna be straight up. It's gonna be at an angle. And then from there, we're going to add the 
ears. So now it's gonna be another triangle, but it, don't make it super stiff, make it a little curved. So that way it's the ear of the unicorn. Now right over here, go a little bit. You're still kind of doing all of this in that big circle that you made, the, the, the first, the big cup. We're going to make like an eye here, like a, you know, the mouth of a happy face. It's going to be here, but it's actually the eye. And then we'll create little eyelashes. I'm going to bring the eyelashes up. And then we'll do the same, but they're going to be over here on this side. Okay. And then here we're going to make the nose. It's just a little bit, it's like a little tear shape nose. I think we got it. So far, so good. This is a unicorn. We can also, we can also make like diagonal lines for the horn here. So we just go at an, an opposite angle, like almost going vertical, but curve it a little. Just move your, your pencil vertical. This is the drawing. And then here, we'll add the mouth if you want, just very tiny. This is an important step. Take your time to draw it out. It doesn't have to be rushed. Pause the video if you have to. Just want to make sure that you got the, the drawing right because the rest I think will be easy and you guys can do it so good. Okie dokie, let's get to painting. I'm gonna start painting the sky and the sky will be blue. Make sure there's no eraser on your paper or canvas. You don't wanna paint with a little eraser. It's, it's, it's just not fun. Let's go side to side with our brush. I, I got some blue and a little bit of water, just a little bit, and I'm gonna go side to side with my brush. Now, if by any chance you go over the unicorn, it's okay because, try not to, but if you do, it's okay because the, um, we're going to paint over it anyway. So go around, go side to side, paint the sky, side to side, side to side. Add a little bit of water to it, to the blue, just a little bit. So that way your brush can flow very nice and easy. If you want to outline the unicorn and then do the side to side, you can do that. I'm gonna start adding just a little bit of white to my blue because I want it to start getting lighter as I go down on the sky. Just a little bit. There you go. That's my sky. Pretty good. You can place your brush down, put it in the, in the water. Now I'm just gonna make some clouds because my unicorn is a little bit in the clouds. So I'm gonna use my finger, get a little bit of white. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to dab and smear. Dab and then smear, smear the bottom. The top can be a little more curved and then the bottom can be more smeared. And then I'll do maybe, I'll do another one here. Not gonna add too much clouds because I don't, I don't want that to be my focal point. I don't want all my attention to go to the clouds. It's just something in the back. So dab and then smear. A 
gonna add this one a little more. I'll do a tiny bit here, a small one, not much. Okay. So there you go. I have my sky and my clouds. Now I'm going to clean my, my, make sure that your brush is nice and clean. We're going to get it again and we're going to paint our unicorn white. So I know the paper is already white, but I still want you to cover it because we have some pencil marks. I'm sure your sky went inside a little bit. So we're going to paint the whole thing white. Make sure to outline the unicorn and then paint it inside. Oops. See, I went out. You don't want to win outside the line. Outline. See, I'm outlining it first. And then I go inside. When you go inside, make sure your strokes are not too big. They're still controlled and small. So otherwise you're gonna do what I just did. I went off the, the line, outside the line, because I, I, my stroke was so big. Outline. Outline. And then paint on the inside. on the inside. Make sure everything is painted white. Even if the paper or the canvas is already white, you still want to paint it inside white. There you go. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's so cool that we can see the unicorn. Okay. Now the fun begins. <gasps> oh, make sure that you do the, the ear too. I forgot to do my ear. The ear needs to be white. little triangle <laughs> okay now the fun begins I was a little too early yeah you got to double check make sure you covered everything before you move on okay so what we're gonna do now we're going to do all the colorful hair and, and then we'll go from there so we're gonna start painting the colors of the rainbow clean your brush And I want to get started with, I want to paint yellow. I'm going to start from with the yellow first. And I'm just going to go down the line. Okay? So, it's important that this is dry. So be, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna paint the horn because this still needs to dry. So let's get the yellow and mix it with red. Mix. They it make um, it makes orange. So we are going to make the horn orange. Yeah, because then it gives us time to to dry. It gives the the horse the white time to dry. So I outlined it, just like everything else. We outlined the triangle for the horn, and then you color it inside. Okay. 
grab a little bit of white if you already painted the whole thing and then all I want you to do is make that just go on the left side the left side of the the, the horn and make a line you see and then I want you to if you can pull it pull that in as you go up just creates more contour on the horn okay now we're good now we can clean it up clean up your brush and now let me see my unicorn my white is almost dry it's very close to being dry so I'm gonna get the yellow if yours is not dry yet just wait a minute press pause on the video so I'm going to get the yellow and now I'm gonna think about I'm gonna go from the horn here I'm gonna go kind of following the shape of the head go down here see I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna go off the horse off the white and then curve the the end if you feel and this is something that I'm gonna show you that you could do it too that it's better to do with a smaller brush I'll show you you may be have more control if you use the smaller brush you should do that get the smaller brush let's do that your hands are tiny so you need a smaller brush we're gonna go down and then we curve the end okay so you pretty much went in front of the ear but you can still see the ear sticking out you go from the horn all the way following the shape of the head and then curve it so my yellow had a little bit of white just so that way it's not too see-through now I'm gonna go I'm gonna do orange I'm gonna get just a tiny bit of red actually hold on sorry 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 we're gonna still still have that yellow because we're gonna do the hair that goes in the front we're gonna go the same way we're gonna go down and we're just gonna curve it just do like that there you go because I want to be able to do both sides at the same time now let's get the red mix it into the the yellow that you had and now you're gonna you're supposed to have orange so if you have yellow and red we'll make orange now underneath the yellow do the same thing just follow follow the shape and curve it they are going to they're going to overlap a little bit now the red you're not going to start all the way in the horn you're going to have to start halfway now because I don't want you to cover the whole head the red it's going to come down here and it's going to curve at the end in the bottom and after that add a little bit of blue to your red oh and I forgot to do sorry oh yeah yeah I keep forgetting to do the other side get some red we don't have to do the orange the, this hair in the front is going to be just some colors it's going to be mostly the primary colors get some red maybe do it on top of the the yellow so that way it looks a little different yeah there you go now we can go and mix the purple yeah uh, red and blue red and blue and we're going to start halfway we don't want to start all the way up top halfway off of the the red you're going to go down and we'll curve it think about you know it's a hair so Think about like you're you're brushing the horse's hair. You go down. Hey, horsey, brush your hair. 
and then curl, curl it a little bit. Curl the ends. Okay, we're gonna, and we can go start going off the, the paper because we're getting close. Now we're just gonna get the blue, just plain blue. And we'll do the same, start halfway about. And go, pull it down, make some strokes going down. And then after the blue, we're gonna get some yellow again and then we'll make green. We'll go about halfway. And I forgot to do the front hair. My goodness, why did I keep forgetting? I'm sorry, maybe you remembered. Maybe you have a me better memory than I do. So let me use this green here. And now I'll, I'll clean off my brush again, and I'll do the blue in the in here. There you go. Now feel free to get a little bit of white. Clean off your brush and then just make some lines over your collars just to add a little bit of more hairy look to it. Oops, I got some red on my yellow. There you go. So I just added a little bit some some white. Do some touches. Try not to blend the colors too much. Otherwise, you're gonna lose the you're gonna lose your your rainbow. You want to leave the colors separate. Okay. How's your rainbow looking? You like it? Now I'm gonna use black. Clean your brush. Make sure that's nice and clean and we're gonna get some black. Now it's time to outline and define the unicorn. We're going to, if you, you, I'm sure you probably can still see some of the, um, the lines that you drew. So outline them. Put your arm on the table, have a nice support, and then just keep going around and outlining it. If you don't want to outline, you can skip this part. And what we're going to do is just use the black for something else. You can skip this part if you don't want to. Be very, very careful as you do this. Don't press too hard on your brush. Add a little water to your black. Reload the brush. Be very careful. Make sure you have a nice support. See, I'm put, I put my finger down, my little pinky, and that was helping me not shake. And there you go. So pretty much the outside is outlined. Now let me outline the lines that were on the horn. So hopefully you can still see them. They're a little bit curved like that. You don't have to outline the horn. And then now we can make the mouth the nose, I can still see my drawing. It's a little teardrop. And then the eyes. 
And then you can add the lashes if you like, or you don't have to. Just bring, add some hair. And then over here too. But here you only see a little bit of lashes. You got it. Final touches. There it is. Here is our unicorn. Did you have fun painting it? I had a lot of fun playing with the colors and I really like my unicorn. I hope you enjoy yourself. Bye bye. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you did. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dottie Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.